Found some good metal. Uh, <laughs> couple pieces. Fuck. Oh, good lord. You ever do any welding? Not for a long time. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, looks like I gotta do some. Just a dumb fucking stupid idiot. Not as bad as I thought it would be. I thought you'd have nothing left there. Ah, right. Yeah. One thing I know. When you're finished, it'll look fucking good. Mm. <laughs> I don't know about good. Well, you know, maybe driving by fast enough. You know I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 60 miles an hour, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Just fucking give her. Old paddywhack checking up on me. Probably seen me holding my pliants. She's like, oh man, what am I gonna do? And stuff, you know what I mean? But Anyard's compressor's all fired up. I guess we should do some more pickling and then some more friggin' plasma cutting and some more gravel digging and I need a drink though, I'm fucking parched. It's pissing. It's pissing. I saw there was a little bit of the liquids in there. You best scent. What do you think of them apples? 
just pissing right in the drive where it's zero fox. Dump truck hobo, same. Hey, I apologize. I shouldn't say that. I need it to work. Hey, I need it to friggin' work. Not pretend. Oh, it's shit in my fucking hair. Oh, boys. The day's just chooch by. Literally got nothing done on this today. I mean, did a little bit, but you can't hardly even tell. Son of a bitch. Just about to cut some metals. Cut a little bit of the metals. Well, that's it for today, boys. My back is wrecked. Holy shit. I thought, uh, yeah, I'll do it from the inside and that way uh, it'd be easier, but yeah, crouching down and bending down and keeling over and all, that's not fun. Nope. Nope, but I got seven on. I got four, four on this side. One, two, three, four. And three on this side. One, two, three. And uh, there is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 5, 6, 7, 27. So there's 27 uh, just on the inside of the box. That's not including, uh, you know, the outside or the bottom. A few patches on the bottom. Oh, on the floor too. We've got a, a couple spots on the floor. This one's really good. I like this. So that's probably that's probably where the water's coming in. That's nice. Cedar patches too. That's a good patch. Looks like they used like old barrels or something. But you know, I don't know. That looks like uh, Pug One Grade Nine welding to me. We'll have to clean that up and we'll you know finish welding this shit in there. Anyways, there's another one, big one over here. This must have been where the rock went through. Oh, well, I can see there's already some corrosion. So that's good, but yeah, they, they really got uh, A1 Weldon and Schmidtville to friggin' uh, weld that guy up. Looks like there's a big patch right here too, so that's good. Uh, that's good. That's good. But whatever, I mean, well, get it so it friggin' uh, does the trick and call her a cigarette. Probably just drill some holes or cut some holes in the ends of the of the earth skulls there so you know water and schmuck can drain out of it i mean this this one here looks like it's full of gravel and shit too so that's pretty fucking cool but yeah hopefully if we get enough patches in here i figure you know we'll fill it full of concrete and then we'll go to dump it and it'll just you know all these chunks will just lock everything in and it'll just make my life just lickety mix blickens but anyways boys i gotta put uh put everything away freaking sun's just about into the downward region so, yeah, I'll get back out here tomorrow and do some more welding and cutting and grinding and welding and bending and back painting and maybe even get a cigarette or two up us. Who knows? Hey, eh? Who knows, boys? I don't know nothing. <laughs>
You too. <laughs> Long drop. Uh, See you later. Have a good one. Just getting set up to uh, do some more peckling. Now that I got a bunch of holes cut in it, I can sort of get, uh, you know, into the spots I couldn't get to before. And then it, it like just starts raining. Like I was literally just grabbing my stuff. So that's awesome. It's awesome. I had to cancel my freaking undercurtains today. I figured, okay, so we'll freaking get some work done in the dump truck. No, nope. fucking even see. I apologize, but uh, yeah, sooner or later I'm going to have to uh, get on this here Grumman too, for freak's sake, so check that out, got some headlights from oxbeam.com, hey, freaking right, and then I just got these uh, surrounds there for Hoggy Steve Awards, okay, so you only get one at a time, but that's, uh, that's for... It's for like a Hogley Steve Awards. All right, well, it stopped raining, but only for a minute. It's supposed to absolutely freaking pour all day. But I got this, uh, I got this unit out of uh, one of the scrap trucks that I had. And this one in my truck there is just totally garbage. So we're gonna see about replacing this because it come out of a thatch and it's got the same asshole on it. And hopefully it works and it'll be, you know, more, more, more better more more better so anyways oh here comes the rain again awesome Surely drain the battery. Anyways, I was uh, just getting ready. I had a marker. What do I do with the marker? Great. Great. What do I do with the marker now? Hopefully you're happy. Hopefully you're happy the marker's gone. But I took apart uh, one of these one of these earth coals there and she lines up perfect with the two uh, the two holes that are there so we just got to mark one drill it and tap it and then we're good so I got my 2794th drill bit and my 6273 M26 friggin' uh, tap. And I came over here for something. A little bit of a center punch, perhaps. I think we're gonna go uh, go no holds Gabardi and cut these springs in half. Perhaps. Yeah, so let's see how this goes.
Custom headlight install modification. Yeah, oxbeam.com, links in the prescription. Friggin' Decepini when you you got the friggin' uh, running lights and then the blinkers. And when the running lights is on, you turn the blinkers on, the running lights go out and let you do the blinker, and then when you shut the blinker off, it waits a second, the running lights come back on. Kinda cool. A little bit cool, you know what I mean? Way better than this garbage. Look at this. All rotted out and stuff. No good. And whatnot. All friggin' incandescent as frig, probably. Probably. But yeah, of course, friggin' uh, the rain all, all frigged off. It says 80%, 80% all day. Oh yeah, I guess it did rain. My Mumistakovich. I saw, saw like daylight coming in and thought, uh, you know, thought we were just killing the day for no reason. I mean, it's not no reason. We got to get all this shit done sooner or later. Didn't just, uh, you know, do all this to friggin' uh, have it blocking the friggin' bay. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I got the new wiring harness in. 
Got the old one out. Had to do a little extend a peeny, and I can't find my friggin' uh, my good uh, my good conduit. So friggin' once I find some good conduit, we'll just wrap the end of that up and stuff. It'll be awesome. Throw that over there quick. But uh, yeah, man, the headlights and fucking will tie all that bullshit into the whatever vills, and yeah, it'll be decent. It'll be fucking decent. Well, anyways, boys, my movie's gonna be late, so hope you're happy. But uh, yeah, at least we got the headlights installed on the on the Grumman. I mean, it really should uh, get the transmission fixed and uh, figure out whatever the fuck the timing or whatever, and then we can at least drive it. But now it's winter time, so yeah, and we got 75 other projects to do now too. So, but tractor season's freaking pretty well done, so. We'll uh, be getting back onto the projects here right in the shortly factor. So uh, there's that, but uh, it's supposed to be nice out tomorrow, so we'll get back on the dump truck probably. But anyways, awesome. Oxbeam, oxbeam.com lights. Scores, let me know what you think. Stoke pipe.